Hey guys, Mr. Bennett again. We are going to move into section 1.3 now, and this is actually two videos. And so we're going to start looking at objective 1.2, and today we're going to start looking at the metric system. All we're going to do today, or in this section, is 1.3a. So make sure your notes are in the right space up here, remember on the top left. And in science, we always use the metric system. Okay. And the metric is the world standard, and it's very easy to use, but we've you don't use it very much in America or at all, so that's why I'm teaching it. Each step in the metric system is an increase by a multiple of 10. So anytime we increase our amount, we're multiplying it by a factor of 10, or if we decrease our amount, we're dividing by a factor of 10. So if you're moving, let's do this in blue, if you're moving to the right or you're increasing, or you're having a larger size, you multiply by 10. If you are decreasing, we are doing the opposite. We are dividing by 10. And that's all it is. So we're going to fill in this number line today. And then we're going to stop there because I want you to just be able to think in terms of metric. And there's going to be a lab we do with this in class. But let's start at 1. And we're going to use a decimal point in this. So this is going to be our base right here, and I'll give you units later, but let's just look at the numbers. If I want to increase my number, so we're going to be moving to the right, and then we're also going to be moving to the left. So let's take one step to the right. If I want to move to the right, I need to increase by a factor of 10. So this is times 10. So 1 times 10 gives me 10. Keep that decimal point there. Now if I want to increase again, 10 now times 10, one step, is 100. And then if we go a third one, times 10 one more time, now I move 1,000.0. So notice my decimal point is moving one spot to the right. So I move one decimal place to multiply by 10. I move one more place to multiply by 100. You can also jump between, you don't have to go step by step. So if I want to go from this point here to this point, I need to multiply by 100 because I'm going two steps, right? I'm going from one, two steps gives me a multiple, a multiple of 100. My decimal place moves two spots to the right. It's the same exact thing going backwards. So I'll do these in red. This is dividing by 10. So if my decimal place moves to the right when I'm increasing, it's going to move to the left. So this is 0 0.1. If I move one more space, we are still dividing by 10. So this becomes 0 0.01. And then again, same thing. If I divide by 10, we go 0 0.001. So this decimal always follows that same pattern, one space to the right or to the left, depending on how we increase or decrease. Now, on the metric system, we have what are called prefixes. And they're, you know, a prefix, just like in English, goes in front of a base unit. And the base units we're going to be using are grams or a meter for now. And that's all we're going to be using, grams and meters. A gram is a mass, and a meter is the distance. A power of 10, or increasing by a gram, is a deca. So if I have 10 grams, I can also say I have a decagram. Or if I have 10 meters, I have a decameter. 100 becomes hecta. So a hectagram would be 100 grams. Or a hectameter would be 100 meters. And then this is the one you've probably heard before. This is a kilo. So a kilogram is 1,000 grams, or a multiple of a gram. The same thing going backwards, except we have different prefixes. These are going to be deci. So one-tenth of a gram is a decigram. One one-hundredth is a centi. And you've probably heard this with the distance before. So a centimeter, there are 100 centimeters in one meter. And then we have milli. So we can move backwards and forwards on this number line as we need to. So instead of saying I've got 10,000 meters, I can just say I have 10 kilometers. 
So we can move back and forth on this number line and it makes it very easy for scientists to use numbers that can be very, very large but explained very simply. So like I just said, this lets us convert between units and all we need to do is multiply or divide by powers of 10. In the next video, we're going to take a look at some examples. So if you need help, make sure you get help in class and then you can take a look at 1.3b.